Please sign right here. Let me take a picture of you at the box. A picture? Why? It's part of the protocol. Oh. Okay. I don't need to remind you how sensitive the material is. I know. Thanks. Good. Take care. Russell, did you receive it? It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, a drug overdose, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was odd. She was a lawyer at Go AT, right? More like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate it. This is a one-time chance to catch them. Go AT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? No, I just want you to find out how she died, which is legal. But if I'm right, it will take us somewhere nasty. I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. I'll do what I can. Good. Remember, it's because of these people we're here in the first place. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. I've been in this for too long to know it's not just suicide. You'll see. So, I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. They're about to wrap it up over there, but Detective Stan Becker's waiting for you. He knows you're coming. If you want to investigate the real place, you should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting, and keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. This is not a pipe. The idea was an office-lab hybrid. Consists of uh, a lot of thinkers There's been a lot of shutdowns lately, and this building's electrical grid is just as old. So I got a backup. I need to start over again. My little project. It's come a long way. I just need a few more years of independence. I need to keep the TSB away. No disc uploaded yet. And I can't keep that detective waiting. This is the first thing I brought in here. I can't believe the loss of performance after adapting them to comply with the new laws. Times are changing indeed. <sighs> I really need a new partner. Hard to replace Carl, though. 
Carl liked to read this nonsense. I never figured out how such a great scientist was able to pour so much time in reading clickbait articles. <laughs> he once said he could draw global connections through them. Hey, Russell, right? Tom said you'd come. Feel free to take a look around, but don't touch anything. And let me know if you have any questions. Yeah? Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. Do you know anything else about him? His name is Alex. Pretty average guy. Fitness trainer. The victim had kicked him out a few months ago. They were about to get a divorce. He came by to pick up some stuff he'd left here. Could he have been angry about the divorce? Yeah. But as I said, she'd been dead for at least six hours before he got here. So if somehow he forced her to take an overdose over the phone, then yeah, he could have done it. What time did he find her? The morning after, and called right away. The security cameras corroborate the time he arrived, so we don't have any reason to suspect him. Did she leave any children or family? No, no children, no brothers or sisters, foreign parents that she didn't see much. For now, that's all I know. And... A husband. Pretty regular corporate profile, if you ask me. Do you have any theories about what happened? It's a little early yet, but everything points to suicide. There are lots of loose ends as to why, especially considering who she was. Her laptop, for example, is gone. We haven't been able to find it, so who knows how deep that thing goes. Even so, I don't think there's a possibility someone sneaked in and forced her to take some pills somehow. But don't take my word for it. We don't even have the full autopsy report yet. Thanks. No problem. Quite a view. Go AT's new project. Viziani Simultani. A futurist painting. Interesting choice. Generative design and automated construction. The great shaman Poe, master of mirrors, has passed away on his hundredth birthday, dated July 12th, probably her last meal. Hmm. Probably the things Alex came to pick up when he found her. It's getting late. Looks like where the body was. Gzak sleeping pills. You need a prescription for these. Clearly she'd been drinking. Broken. Looks like an expensive mask. I wonder what's in those boxes. Alex's clothes, probably. Another broken mirror. I don't think it's a coincidence. Bloody footprints. She probably stepped on the broken shards. Vomit. Upload is ready.
Evie, ready? Yes. Okay, good. Please operate on patch 1.2. And scan for the latest memory you can find, ideally just before her death. Understood. So this is when she died. Hello there, Joanna. Hmm. Interesting glitch on the clock. Afternoon light. Didn't she die at night? Reconstructing glass from memories. I don't think we'll ever get it right. Lots of missing information here, Evie. This doesn't seem to be the right moment. Yes. I wasn't able to pinpoint any further coordinates. Objective data is incomplete. Reasons? High emotional state. Hmm. She might have known she was going to die. Is there enough data to reconstruct a subjective state of the memory? Yes. Good. I'll enter the subjective state and see what I can find. Subjective reconstruction was successful, but I couldn't interpret all data. It's fine, Evie. Subjective interpretation is tough for any AI, even a special one like you. I can't make sense of this sound. That ladder goes down to the first floor. Could this be her as a child? Hmm. There was something here in the objective state. It belongs somewhere in the memory, but I cannot interpret it. I need to know what it is and where it belongs. All right. I'll study it and put it in the right place. Evie, do a match with clock data at this spot. Someone's knocking at the door. Picture of a dog following her? Her laptop. If it's in the objective state as well, then somebody did take it. Maybe this is the right moment. 
So the laptop was here. She even took the time to write something. Nobody here. Glass always gives Evie trouble. The water is running. At your discretion, I can momentarily free memory and processing power to deliver more accurate feedback. Processing. I can't interpret the new raw data, but the spikes in the readings suggest an intense, violent moment. The water is running. No mirror. A spider web. No way out. Evie, do a match right here with a mirror being violently broken. The mirror shards are making a trail to the bedroom. Should I shut down the simulation? Please, go ahead. Understood. Shutting down in three, two, one. Hey, Russell. Any good news? It wasn't a clear reconstruction, but I managed to get some objective evidence. There was a clear hand next to her. Just when she was lying on her bed and the pills were all over the floor. So it seems you may be right. There was definitely somebody with her. A hand. That's all you could find. Well, Tom, I'm just getting started. Her last memories are fuzzy. And that's probably because of the psychological stress she was under. The fact that she wasn't alone is a good start. Yeah, good to know. But we need to know who it was so we can do something about it. I'll keep looking, Tom. Let's just hope the rest of the memories are in better shape. I hope so. Did you find anything else? I saw her laptop. I could hear her typing something. You guys didn't find it at the crime scene, did you? Somebody did take it. But whoever did is a ghost. We saw the security cameras. There was no one. All right, this is getting interesting. What else did you see? I saw a lot of other things. I just need to understand her unconscious better. It's fine, Russell. Just keep looking. But I need something else from you. We need to get into her private email. The password? We were able to hack the words, but there are three numbers at the start that we don't know. We have only a few shots at this, so that's why I need you. Her password? I'd like to avoid that. Listen, Russell, we're here precisely to avoid tech industry fuck-ups like in the past, and finding the password is aligned with that goal. You're here because of that. My research had nothing to do with all of it. Russell, just send us the scan and inspection report as legally required, and there will be no issues, I promise. We're counting on you for this one. The password ends with NAMAS. N-A-M-A-H-S. But it's preceded by three numbers. We have three to four tries with this password at most. So when you have something, call me. It's not that simple. There are major consequences. I'll wait for your call. Bye, Russell. Damn it. Okay, Evie. We need to find that password. But most importantly, how and why she died. If you can isolate memories or dreams that may have a connection with the password, or emotional patterns similar to those of her death. A deep search is needed to find such patterns. It will take time. Yeah, I know. I could use some rest anyway. Understood. Search will run overnight. Optimize the processes as much as you can. Good night, Evie. Thank you. Good night. Home sweet home. There's never enough time. A quiet night in my mostly quiet neighborhood.
Sometimes the best work happens at home. It started updating on its own, stuck at 99.9%. .9%. Why am I not surprised? This is Marie Tsu's speech when receiving a UN award. It was about AI, the future, and this building's design. They seem to be already using it. She seems to be quite optimistic on what can be done. I'm swimming in an infinite sea. I feel small, but at peace. I'm thinking how nice it is that I don't need to breathe. Then a silent, majestic creature appears in front of me. Its eyes show indifference, peace, wisdom. Its movement, slow and graceful. I feel like it's the universe itself, but it moves on. And then I'm left wondering, will I ever be able to follow it? I haven't slept well lately. After her mother died, we haven't been very close. She blames me for not being close enough, I think. For being too focused on my work. Especially during my wife's last days. Carl sent me this. You know what? I would never have thought that. It's amazing. It really is. I mean, your parents must be very proud. Congratulations to all of you. Thanks, Phyllis. Coming back to your work, uh, you've been there from the beginning, am I right? Uh, yes. We were less than 15 people, I think. It was like uh, 30 years ago, a few months after the company started. And now My wife's paintings. Now. That's right. Amazing. So, before I ask you how to... Laura's backpack. <laughs> She's had it since high school. I think I recognize this luggage. At this hour? What is this place? What have you gotten me into, Tom? It's supposed to be fall. How considerate. A, from the I don't think a so. note from Laura. <laughs> but there is one now. <laughs> well, you know, despite of what I'm all I'm not happy I was right. Memes tell you, Laura. Just our strong core I wonder values. what she's up to. <laughs> yeah, helping humanity with technology, being the good guys, yada yada. Hi, Evie. Before asking about the overnight scan, I need to get a letter scanned. Anything you can find on it is useful. Understood. Please leave it in the scanning hardware, and I'll do my best. Okay, here it is. Please see if you can match that picture with anything. 
It's urgent. Understood. And if there are any fingerprints or any other clues you can extract. I'll start with the picture. I have hardware limitations for most other tasks. Yeah, I know. I'll build a decent scanner soon. Meanwhile, I'm sure my little project can be of some use. I will try. That's all I ask. Development logs of patch 1.2. Probably the most important update to date, and Carl's last contribution to the project. Okay, still working on the on-the-fly scanning project. It's still a long way to go, but I'm moving in the right direction. The head needs to be fully constrained, though. That's what I'm solving right now. Just moving a bit slow with everything that's happened lately. Yeah, logs will probably stop for a while until things normalize a bit. So, anything interesting on the search last night? I found two parts of her lifeline that may help you, but only one is fully reconstructed. This one is a childhood memory that seems to be connected not only to the password, but also to her adult life. The other one is a recurring dream that started about one month ago, virtually every night. I'll need to brute force my way to a reconstruction for this dream. I'll notify you when I have something that can be uploaded. Interesting. Upload the childhood memory in the meantime, and keep working on that dream. Evie, please activate the control panel Carl was working on. It might be easier now that we have more than one memory available. Understood. And letter scan is in process. Nothing found yet. Thanks. Keep me posted. Control panel 1.2 is activated. Evie, what song is this? Searching. I can't find a match in online databases. I don't know what song this is. Maybe her parents? Yeah, there was some wind outside. Happy memories are always saved in a special way. I can't enter. It's like a black wall. What are you looking at, Joanna? Another failed glass attempt. Although now it reaches further into its surroundings. Someone unreadable and the magic mirror show. A toy dinosaur. A time warp. The control is near the door. Homemade cookies. I don't know what song this is. I don't know what song this is. Her own version of things. Such beautiful innocence. Interesting that this dog isn't in the objective state. It doesn't like when I look at it. Someone unreadable and the magic mirror show. A spoon with books. A time warp. The control is near the door. They are definitely a fond memory. 
quite different from the objective state. Could be a defense mechanism. Most likely. In current patch, they are unfiltered by default. Are they using my behavior? Yes. Good. This will give them a much broader expression range. Thanks for the warning, though. It seems to react to my behavior. Someone's desperate to enter. path splits in two. This seems like the shadow of the people that were at the start of the memory. Is that Joanna inside the frame? That behavior was extremely aggressive. Yes. Could be a defense mechanism based in phobia. A manageable problem replacing an unmanageable one. Exactly. I wonder what it's hiding. Could this dog be subjective only as well? Unreadable. Maybe in the objective state. Evie, isn't this body a little blown out of proportion? For it being in the objective state, I mean. There are no errors in the simulation. Is it inside the scale error margin? 0.11% off, but valid thanks to accurate matches on its surroundings. Okay, still seems a bit too big. We'll have to review those algorithms soon. Understood. So the dog is once again subjective. A bedtime story, maybe. 
I could swear it's slightly different from the last time I saw it. One of them should be the mother. Microwave food. Eats dinner's ready. Uh, he eats dinner's microwave ready. Microwave food. He eats dinner's ready. Interesting shapes. Not such a relaxing sound anymore. It's the same music, but distorted. In fact, everything seems more distorted at this memory moment. You again. Are you watching TV? Could it be watching TV? Evie, is there a reason the dog can enter there while I can't? It wasn't resolved as a neutral space. The coordinates are only for the dog, which is a Class D entity. Class D? Could it be made into an avatar? Querying stability. Done. Mapping behavior. Done. Processing. Avatar transform awaiting input. Usability unpredictable. I can't enter. It's like a black a child's shadow. Maybe it's not a dog after all. The dog was also in her death memory, in the form of a picture. Exactly. Could there be a sister, a brother? I was told by that detective that she was an only child. We need to find out more about this room and this child. a child's shadow. Maybe it's not a dog after all. We need to find out more about this room and this child. from under the door. Joanna, are you leaving? Fill in this time warp with this data from start to end. Huh. Ordering food, it seems. 922 Klimt Street. Chinner Bar. Interesting. I could check out the real place now. Okay, how much? 
Laura? Hey, Dad. Sorry for crashing by without telling you. My cell phone was dead. Is everything all right? Well, me and Chris had a fight, and I left him. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. You were right, of course. I need to think things through first. Did you see my note? Yes. I saw it. Okay. I'm sorry, Dad. You were right. I hope you don't mind me staying a few days. No worries. Stay as long as you need to. I'll pick up some food on my way home. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I'll be going out with a friend tonight. I promise I won't wake you up. It's just that we haven't seen each other for a while, and I need someone to talk to. But we'll see each other tomorrow morning, probably. Yeah, sure. Great. Thanks, Dad. And I, I promise I won't be a nuisance. Don't worry about it. Talk to you soon, all right? Right. Bye, Dad. Bye, Laura. Time hasn't been nice to the place. Russell, we need the password. Like, right now? Yes, right now. Just give me five minutes. I might be onto something here. I'll call you right back. Do it, but fast. No defense mechanisms to worry about. Those chimes are still hanging somewhere. It used to be an innocent drawing. still remains. Wasn't Joanna looking at it? Shaman Poe. Amazing that it's still readable. Russell? About her password. I'll call you later. I don't have anything yet. It's okay. We still have time. Just hurry. Russell? Do you know anything about her parents? Or another child, maybe? Well, she was an only child, and I think the report said she didn't talk with her parents much. Also, they live overseas. How exactly are they important? Well... Her past seems to have affected her last day somehow. Not directly, but there seems to be a connection. Russell, I need you to focus on who killed her. I know she must have been a very interesting person, with this and that childhood trauma that you're so eager to decipher. But we need to know her password, and who killed her. Concrete facts, Russell. I know, but finding the connections will lead to the facts. Just tell me if you find anything interesting regarding the family. And you tell me if you find anything interesting about her death. Okay. Goodbye, Tom. Bye, Russell.
Russell? About her password. Try. Three. Zero. Nine. Okay, good. We'll try this out and I'll call you back. Thanks, Russell. So, she had a little sister. Martha, could she still be alive? Hi, Evie. Any news on the picture scan? I can't find any patterns. I am limited by the hardware. Yeah. <laughs> Point taken. However, I was able to reconstruct the recurring dream I mentioned before. It seems to have started about 30 days before her death, with strongly repeating patterns. It is available on the control panel. Good. Thanks. I am having trouble reconstructing time and perspective in this dream. How bad is it? I should be able to reconstruct all the events eventually, but their continuity and the different dream perspectives are impossible. Please expect a few errors in continuity and perspective. 8% of dream reconstructed. This dream reconstruction is really something special, Evie. As it is a dream, there are no filters for physical accuracy. Therefore... I know. It's easier to grasp the aesthetics of the imagination than the visual truth of memories. Precisely. 16% of dream reconstructed. Evie, try to reconstruct perspective from this angle, at the current time of the dream. Twenty percent of dream reconstructed. Evie, please try to fix this perspective to the dream. Twenty seven per cent of dream reconstructed. Could that be Joanna and Martha?
100% of dream reconstructed. So that's the end of the dream. Hopefully there's information about what caused it. Is that rain? Is that rain? Another dog. As far as I know, Joanna didn't have a dog in her apartment. Someone else's, perhaps. A cabin, maybe. like my servers. This water must represent something. There's steam coming out of that pipe. I should get closer. Look at this. There are elements from our childhood. Could they be a deeper layer of the dream? There's steam coming out of that pipe. I should get closer. Can you find something on him, Evie? Searching. Richard and his childhood elements, can they both be the catalyst for the dream? There are hundreds of Richards that could be connected to Joanna somehow. 29 of WAT's current employees alone, and that is only from people that have their profiles public. <sighs> okay. Keep searching while I ask around. Hello? Mr. Russell, hi. My name is David. I'm calling on behalf of Marie Xu. Marie Xu? From GoAT? That's right, the CEO. Oh. Miss Xu would like to speak to you in person, Mr. Russell, at GoAT, today, if possible. Meet with me? Why? She'd probably like to tell you herself, sir. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll be there. Good. I will let Miss Xu know of your answer. Directions will be sent to your phone, including a pass to our guest parking lot. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. My car is like a unicorn in here. Nice cars. It... Nice cars. They must be running an independent research project.
My car's like a unicorn in here. Nice cars. They must be running an independent research project. Hello? Mr. Russell, this is Marie. A pleasure to speak to you. Oh, Miss Chu. The pleasure's all mine. I was notified of your arrival. I hope you had no trouble getting in. No. No. None at all. I'm very sorry for the short notice. And thank you for accepting our invitation. I'm happy to be here. Good. There's a lot to talk about. Listen. I'm on my way down. Please meet me on the middle bridge. Sure. So, how do I get there? Ah, please, take the orange wing. The elevator on the right. Jess, please help him to the bridge. Of course. Jess here will open the elevator and get you to the right floor. I'm coming down now. Meet you there. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Two buildings. One focused mainly on research, and the other on business. Both connected by bridges. Marie should be in the central one. I guess they use a lot of these to navigate inside the building. An entrance to the AI Research Center. Neural Implant Section. The AI Research Center. From prosthetics to automated farming. That looks like Joanna's apartment building. Automated building construction with generative design. Suppose Mr. Russell, we finally meet. I appreciate you coming on such short notice. Miss Chu? You seem surprised. I... Sorry, I didn't know you... Uh... That I spoke without moving my lips? Yeah. Well, thanks to the amazing scientists in here, I can. And just by thinking. I'm playing with these voices, but they're all still a bit off. My voice was more nerdy. This one feels wiser. And more... Empowered somehow. I guess we need to have some of our AIs learn more types of people. It's interesting, though. After all this CEO business, most people in our field have seen me talking somewhere. I guess that means you are really immersed in your own research. I like that. I guess I am. Indeed. It took some time to reach you. You seem to be off the radar. If it weren't for the echoes of your research in the science community, I would have thought you were a ghost. At least by today's social network standards. Probably not a coincidence. It's too easy to get distracted these days. Indeed it is. I actually find a lot of that in here. The need to focus. Everybody is building something. They have a goal that is beyond traditional ambitions. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of, please. Follow me. You see, Mr. Russell, any good we're trying to do here is in danger. If you look through these windows, you'll see the substance of what the future will be made of. Automated farming. Clean energy development. Bold advancements in medicine. And here is our latest and most ambitious project. The first prototype of large-scale, AI-designed automated construction. Many local uses, but useful in other worlds as well. But these are delicate times. Every step we take is a war we must fight against ignorance, mediocrity, fear. We need all the help we can take. Building a good future is 25% human ingenuity. And the rest is all politics. You see, Mr. Russell, someone like you could help us in this fight, both on a political and scientific front. One second, Mr. Russell. Yes. Can't it wait a few minutes? Okay, hold the call. I'll be there. You'll have to forgive me, Mr. Russell. 
Even Sundays I have urgent calls. Please meet me on the executive level. I should be ready in a few minutes. Jonas at reception will send you the right last speech, made just before his death, a passionate view on post-humanity and how AI will keep us adaptable to change. Hi, please put your hand on the glass so we can give you clearance. You're good to go. You can use elevator A. This is Leo Munch's famous last speech made just before his death, a passionate view on post-humanity and how AI will keep us adaptable to change. predict this will have a drastic impact on the household and construction markets, but the real thing is off-world colonization. I have to wonder, how much is really automated? There's way too many cranes. Joanna's office. Hi. You can find Miss Marie in her office. If I'm not mistaken, that's Joanna's childhood home. Mr. Russell, I'm glad you made it up here. Please, close the door for me. I hope you had time to see a bit of what we're doing here. I wanted you to see it firsthand. There is so much prejudice out there regarding our mission. The best way to break it is to talk face to face, to be open about everything. There's no better PR than transparency, as long as it's managed well. I'm glad you understand it. We have to be as open as we can, while still remaining competitive. It's a delicate balance. The market isn't perfect, but we have to make the best of what we have. So yes. We have to manage what is known to the public. Some things need to mature first. I'm sure you of all people understand. And talking about this, let me be blunt. Has the TSB reached you already? I heard they're meddling with academics as well. Yes, they are. They move fast. I hope they aren't being as obtrusive with you as they are with us. If you do everything by the book, there's nothing to hide. I like your moral sense, Mr. Russell. But I'm afraid these people will disappoint you sooner than later. I do hope I am mistaken, of course. Mr. Russell, let me cut to the chase. I admire your research. And you face the same challenges we do. But on a different scale. We think a partnership would be very beneficial. A partnership? You mean a job? Here at Go AT? A job? No. A partnership. We're offering a very unique position here. A chance to direct your own projects. Very generous resources. And the power and freedom any smart scientist would ever want. Think of the other benefits. We're a tech company, with no connections to the pharmaceutical industry. I know that you already challenge their status quo and the effectiveness of their drugs. We can protect you from them. 
and make your research widely known. The benefits of working together are limitless. And in return? Two things. One is the sheer value of your expertise in the AI field, and the other is political support. A well-respected academic like you, that has always been outside of the corporate world, that is what the public needs to see. I like the sound of it, but I would need to know the details. Of course. There'll be time for that. We will follow up with a full proposal. In the meantime, let me say this. Here, you can make a real difference. Great minds like us need to unite and work together. And this is the place where you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Unless the TSB gets in the way. Politics is the other part of the equation. The biggest part, probably. When the time comes, everything will come down to ideology. I want you to be on the right side, unless you think the TSB will avoid the upcoming problems by simply putting a lifetime break on every possible development. We need a little risk if we're going to progress. That's the answer I wanted to hear, Mr. Russell. The way I see it, regulation is supposedly what keeps us safe from the dark side of technology. But regulation isn't the problem. The problem is who creates those laws, and why. Given the current state of affairs, I don't trust the government's intentions. The law reacts, and it's always late. I understand they want to get ahead. The stakes are too high. A single mistake could cost the world everything. But they don't seem to be in the prevention business. They just want control. And God knows what they could do with what we create. They have their own agenda. So yes, regulation could be good, on paper. But in my opinion, that is not what's going on here. Besides, politicians, philosophers, intellectuals, they all had their chance. And they left us a world so advanced on one hand, and almost dead on the other. So yes, I don't appreciate them breathing down my neck while we try to fix their mess. Anyway, Mr. Russell, I don't want to keep you here for too long. And of course, you don't have to answer now. But I should tell you that given your opinions, I have no doubt that joining us would be the wise decision. I appreciate the invitation, Miss Chu, but please give me a few days to think about it. Of course. There is no rush. We're more than happy to wait for someone like you. David will send you more details, and we should have dinner soon to discuss everything further. And now, I'm afraid I have to get back to my work. Sadly, the world doesn't really stop getting warmer on Sundays. Thank you for coming, Mr. Russell. Feel free to stay as long as you want, and expect a call soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Russell. This is an Edward Hopper, right? Indeed. I keep that painting there as a reminder of the problems of that time. How progress also brought loneliness and alienation. He expressed it so beautifully. It's a reminder of what we need to avoid in the next cycle. When technology once again changes the social fabric of the world, we cannot make the same mistake. We must put ourselves first. I couldn't agree more. Enough blind steps. An old industrial neighborhood. Amazing. Different seeds of the same building, all procedurally generated. Joanna. Yes. A very sad moment for us all. She was an incredible professional, and a great woman as well. I wish I had known what was happening in her mind. I guess I was too busy managing everything. What have you heard about her? I saw something on the news about her. Awful business. I imagine it must have been a terrible blow to everyone here. Indeed it was. I think she may have been contacted by the TSB, and who knows if they manipulated her. 
These people will do anything to fulfill their political agenda. Perhaps you can help us investigate things in the future. Find out how she really died. I'm sorry. Do you know anyone in this building named Richard? Richard? There must be hundreds. Why? Listen, I've been forced by the TSB to work on Joanna's case. There's not much I can do. I didn't expect you picked sides yet, but here you are. I appreciate this. You don't need to say more. Withhold information from them? Wait for me to contact you. You are doing the right thing. We won't allow them to destroy everything we've built. So, you're worried about the future? but have no faith in politics, am I right? Hmm. You could say that, Mr. Russell. It's a complex situation. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I think the world as we know it is about to change. And just like it has happened to every powerful civilization, once weakened, a new ideology takes over. If this ideology is a response to decadence and despair, then we risk a return to the Dark Ages. But if we find a new way through enlightenment, there is hope. We have to get ahead of them. Bring the good news, so resentment doesn't take over. We have to use science and technology in humanity's favor. Govern through intelligence, not fear. A new ideology will happen, and we have to make sure it's a good one. You know, I sometimes think you're the missing link in all this. The link between science and the human soul. Between numbers and poetry. I think your research can change the world. Help me create a better future, Mr. Russell. Thank you, Mr. Russell. Take care. We'll be in touch soon. That looks like Joanna's apartment building. she ask for all these files? I have no idea. She did have access to everything, but it's very technical stuff. Completely out of her area. It's like super complex. Hard to read even for me, and I'm an engineer. And the notes on these paragraphs. Singularity? Unethical? Yeah, I think... Shh. Russell, you're a fucking genius, man. We got in. That's great. Did you find anything important? Yes. I can't speak right now, but stay tuned. Wanted to warn you, though. The attempts probably didn't go unnoticed. You know how it is. We can't compete with their infrastructure. You have to be very careful, Russell. There's a lot at stake here. Where are you right now? I have another task for you. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, sorry, my battery's running low. You you said something about a task? Yes. Um, well, I need you to find something on the husband, Alex. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. He was with us at first, but now he's gone dark. Maybe he's afraid of something, or maybe he's just angry. In any case, if you give us some leverage on him, we might get him speaking. I have a feeling he knows more than he told us. I see. I'm sending you his address. Don't push him too much, though. And of course, keep us out of it. I understand. Okay, Russell, thanks. Call me if you need anything. Thanks. Bye. Photovoltaic glass. Cool. Hey, Laura. Just checking in. Is everything all right? Yeah. 
Thanks, Dad. Everything's super cool. Okay. Good. Call me if you need anything, all right? All right. Thanks. Bye, Dad. I would have expected more electric chargers here, although this is the visitor's parking area. They look almost as good as my car. Hi. Are you Alex? Yeah. Who is it? I'm Frederick Russell. I'm trying to find out about the reasons behind Joanna's death. Russell? It, it almost sounds familiar, but it doesn't. Go away! <sighs> Hello? Do you know someone named Richard? Richard? I might know something. Why should I tell you? Mr. Russell? I think he might have something to do with Joanna's death. What? Wait, why am I talking to you? You guys will try anything, won't you? I saw the security cameras. No one went in. So for the last time, fuck off! Richard. <laughs> I guess I'll have to stop bothering him for a while. Russell? I found something about a little girl named Martha. I think she was Joanna's sister. A sister? We have nothing on our records. I'll look into it. I just hope you're heading in the right direction, Russell. Russell? I found something in one of her dreams. About a man named Richard. There was nothing about him in the dossier. Does it make any sense to you? Not at all. I'll see what I can dig up. Hi, Dad. Hi, Laura. Everything all right? Yes. You mind if I come in? I'm not at home, but of course you can come in anytime you want. Oh, but I'm right here. See? How... how did you get here? I know where you work, Dad. And Gregor Dantrans has known me for a while, remember? Oh, yeah, of course. So... why aren't you opening? Oh, uh, wait a sec. Thanks. This place. Your real home, Dad. I gotta say, it looks a bit better than the last time I saw it. Where's Carl? Oh, Carl stopped working here a few weeks ago. Really? That sucks. He was a real nice guy. Oh, I picked up this magazine in the entrance. It's for you. Thanks. This is not a pipe, but the painting of a pipe. Our old radio! Oh, it brings back some memories. Yep. So, Laura, anything I can help you with? Nothing, really. Just wanted to say hi. I had a feeling I won't see you much at home. Ah, yeah, well, you know how it is. Yeah. Work is work, right? It's just this case I'm working on. I promise I'll try to make more time when it's finished. Oh, can I help you with it? What is it about? Well, I'm under a contract. Telling you would mean getting you in trouble, so for your sake... Oh. It's fine. I understand. I'm sorry. Wait, it's not about... Is that Johanna Cast? Do you know her? It's all over the news, Dad. Is she what your case is about? Really? What is the news saying? It is her, isn't it? 
Okay. Listen. This is really a delicate one. You have to promise me that you won't say anything. Tad, I know. You can trust me. I'm investigating her brain. I'm not sure the official story about her death is true. Oh, God. And you have her brain right here? Well, sort of. It hasn't been easy to extract information at all. Can I help you find something? Well, as I said, in truth, you shouldn't be here. I don't want to get you in trouble. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm sure I can help. Now that I think about it, there are these underground pictures that Evie hasn't been able to decipher yet. Where? Let me look. I know the city's underground. They're over on that table. All right, let's see. I... I think I know this place. Is anything wrong? No, no. I mean, not sure about the place, but that show? A friend of mine is into this shit. What shit? Well, uh, don't worry. A friend of mine showed me a video on his phone that had a moment like this. Ah, I, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. My friend just likes weird stuff, but he's all right. And who is this friend? I don't think I'm telling you his name, Dad. I think I'm old enough to take care of myself. And about the picture? I'm not an expert, but there are only a few places that could host a show like this. Do you know their names? Hmm. Could be The Forge. It's an old nightclub outside the city, invitation only, or, um, uh, The Wish Club. Also, weird stuff going on there. Oh, and you know what? Kinkhaven was on the news recently. It closed. It was known for its masks. I think someone died there or something. Or almost did. Interesting. Evie, can you search for those names? Yes. Give me a moment. Patterns found with new information. New memory available. Ha! <laughs> I told you I could help. Which was it? Kinkhaven. Thanks for your help, Laura. Really. But I can't say I'm happy that you, of all people, were the one to identify the place. Don't get into this, Dad. I'm just worried, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Trust me. I'll be fine. So... This was good, Dad. I'll leave you to your work now. It was nice to help you. Tell me what you find later, okay? Thanks, Laura. I will. Bye, Dad. Thanks to the name, I am able to connect many isolated chunks of data. It is a complex memory. Finishing reconstruction. Good. Please upload it as soon as it's ready. In the process, I have found direct connections with a previous teenager memory. Both are interlinked somehow. I'm also uploading it to the server. I didn't approve the memory upload, Evie. I am sorry. I understood that I should optimize all processes. It's fine, Evie. I should have done a better job with the protocol hierarchy. Do you wish to cancel the reconstruction? No, it's a good idea. I'm just paranoid of another security episode. For now, put the upload protocol over any other directive. I understand. The lesson has updated the protocol hierarchy. Good. Faceless reconstruction. It's supposed to be the other way around. It's the same woman from Joanna's childhood place, but older. Her art teacher, perhaps. So I guess she knew Joanna very well. I wonder if she's still alive. The school bell.
In recess, I suppose. The school bell. It reacts when I look at it. Maybe it represents a shy person. I really like the new patch, Evie. The unconscious is so much richer in information. That defense mechanism. It doesn't want me in the classroom. And it kicked me back to the objective state. Could it be just children? Children that Joanna didn't like, probably. I wonder if there's some way to drive them off. something familiar about these shapes. Evie, the data should represent this woman and the bell above her. Teenage Joanna. Is she crying? What an interesting scene. Processing. I can't find any match between the raw data and my database. The data must be very personal. That room from her childhood. apartment. The teacher reflects Joanna's mother. I wonder what she means in her subconscious. She's clearly important. Selected raw data doesn't have a connection to this memory. Her apartment again. Maybe it's just where the memory started. Joanna, who are you talking to? I can't hear what they're saying, but it looks like a fight. Finding what it's about could be useful to get Alex talking. I can't hear what they're saying, but it looks like a fight. Finding what it's about could be useful to get Alex talking. The objective data is voxelized. It's the algorithm's most basic volume. I wonder if it's the same in the subjective state. The objective data is voxelized. It's the algorithm's most basic volume. I wonder if it's the same in the subjective state. The objective data is voxelized. It's the algorithm's most basic volume. I wonder if it's the same in the subjective state. What, what is this? The door is open. She's 
She's so glitched in the subjective state. I wonder what that call was about. Is that a hospital? Certainly sounds like it. Can't hear what they're saying, but it looks like a fight. Finding what it's about could be useful to get Alex talking. Evie, it seems the amount of detail is greater than in the objective state. Do you know if there's a reason for this? Much of the data is being filtered to the subjective state, but there are no errors in the filtering process. There could be a number of reasons for this. The highest probability is heavy use of drugs. Or a very emotional moment. Nice glass solution, Evie. Thank you. of behavior. It's trying to steal my attention by force. Does it remind you of anything you mean? The Joshua case. Exactly. It was a representation of shame, if I'm not mistaken. That was your conclusion. was a representation of shame, if I'm not mistaken. That was your conclusion. What are you ashamed of, Joanna? Who could that be? Who could that be? Interesting. This data shows you masks behavior. Masks won't let me pass. They seem to be subjective entities. They shouldn't block in the objective state. There's a lot of detail there. Whoever's behind that mask must be important. This shouldn't happen in the objective state. We'll have to learn to dodge those psychoactive drugs, Evie, eventually. Huh. Looks like different moments of her life. Yes. And one of these moments seems to be incomplete. It is connected to the other memory found along with this one. Interesting. Looks like Joanna and... her mother, maybe? What are you doing here? She looks like a teenager. There's some loneliness to the scene. This moment is from the same time of the other newly found memory in her lifeline. It could be the one that is incomplete. Interesting. She seems to be with Martha instead of her dog. She's putting on a mask. 
she doesn't mind. These masks are making Joanna glitch. Can't she be protected from them? Notification. One of these moments seems to be incomplete and connected to the other memory uploaded along with this one. Okay, thanks. Evie, please match this data to this spot. Interpret it as Joanna's teacher. It stopped glitching. These masks are making Joanna glitch. Can't she be protected from them? Joanna and her mother. Their surroundings are glitching. But not them. Maybe it's because that mask can't see her now. Her mother is blocking it. I wonder if they have something to do with shame as well. I wonder if they have something to do with shame as well. Her surroundings are glitching, but not her. I guess that's a good thing. She doesn't glitch when the masks look at her. Maybe she wasn't ashamed of them yet. The data is useful. The data is useful again. Same mask. Same pattern. This shouldn't happen in the objective state. I still can't see anything. Isn't there any information here? There is a percentage that passed through the filters. There could be something.
I can't see anything. like the corner of some structure. Whatever that thing is, it's active in the objective state, and it's adding information. Yes, unexpected behavior. How is it passing the filters? I can't understand or read its behavior properly. The readings are extremely chaotic. This is beautiful. The subjective experience acting as the missing element of truth? Record everything it does, Evie. This anomaly is everything we could have hoped for. Understood. doesn't seem to like those masks.
The two subjective entities are trying to nullify each other, and they will eventually. jumped right over whoever that is. It should be adding objective information now. That creature jumped right over whoever that is. It should be adding objective information now. That creature jumped right over whoever that is. It should be adding objective information now. Probably Joanna on the left. She's talking with someone. I can't see her face well, but the mask is very clear now. There are several layers of information superimposed. Try to look at the scene from another angle. It's... Is that my lab? Could be. It doesn't make any sense. It's the objective state, for God's sakes. Errors like this screw up any objectivity in here. I'll have to start... Wait. The entity is moving. Where are you going now? It may have gone to the apartment. below them. Maybe the objective state has more information. I won't do it again. It's not a big deal, Alex. You promise. Let's do it here. I can't believe you're doing this. Just use the mask. Nobody will see you. Fine. But it's the last time. So if this is true, it means that you were the one down in that room, Alex. Whatever you did, you weren't very happy about it. Let's see how Alex reacts to this. It's a good chance to check out how reliable the objective state is. Russell, finally. Hey, Russell. So, um, I need to be blunt with you. While we know you can deliver, people here are concerned about your commitment. My commitment? <sighs> How do I say this? You should have told us about GoAT. If it wasn't for the password, I don't know where we'd be right now. So don't play games, Russell. I don't want this to end bad for you. Tell me everything you know. <sighs> it's a long story. I found out that Joanna almost lost her life in an underground BDSM club, and Alex was involved. 
unwillingly, it seems. I guess we can use this. What else can you expect from these corporate pigs? Okay, use it, and call me right back. Hello? I know you almost killed her at that club. There are many journalists out there. You should let me in. Jesus, man, don't talk about that shit out there. Just ask me what you want to know and leave me alone, all right? What can you tell me about Richard? Richard? <laughs> just another guy that wanted her. Joanna didn't care much about him. I had a feeling she was just using him. He used to work with her, I think. Go AT? Do you know where I could find him? Um, I think I have his address somewhere. Wait. Here, it's on the fucking fridge. Just take it. Thanks. Did she ever talk about a sister? A sister? That is very private. How do you even know she had one? Please, just answer. I don't know that much. She never talked about her family, you know? The one time I talked to her about kids, she opened up a bit. Told me she once had a little sister, that she died in an accident. I think she blamed her mother somehow. And it was clear to me that was the end of that conversation. Can you tell me anything about her father? Never knew him much. It was a delicate subject for her, actually. I don't think she ever really opened up about him. Did she ever say anything bad about him? She would sometimes talk trash about him, like shit about him being superficial or stupid, but nothing serious, I thought. Other times, however, she did want to share things with him. They almost never talked, but I do remember that when she got the apartment, she called him to tell him about it and sent him pictures, which was kind of surprising for me. I don't know. Weird relationship, to be honest. Did she ever tell you about a dream she started having about a month ago? Jeez, more private stuff. All right. She did tell me something. She had a dream. She couldn't say if it was a nightmare, but that it was repetitive. I think she was obsessed about a work thing. A work thing? Yeah, she didn't tell me much, but she seemed excited about it. But then she got worried about it, especially in her last weeks. Do you really think she committed suicide? Absolutely. I mean, before her last weeks, it was hard to imagine. But after her father got sick, she changed. I felt like I didn't know her anymore. Her father got sick? Yeah, they never really talked, but when she found out, she was furious. And then depressed, probably. A few days later, she kicked me out. Was this before or after that club episode? Just before. I think that's part of the reason she... Well, you know. Thank you, Alex. Just tell me something. Do other people know about all this? Maybe. Information spreads like wildfire. Shit, man. I haven't done anything. I'm the fucking victim here. I've been keeping my mouth shut, and of course it wasn't me who killed her. Should I get a lawyer? You should talk to the police. Tell them everything. It's the only way to show you're innocent. Okay. I might just do that. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Russell? I have Richard's address. I'm going to check it out. Seems important. Send it to me. I'll follow up. It's in the hills, 25 Stallman Road. Thanks. Oh, 
Hello? Miss Julia? Hi, nice to speak to you. My name is Frederick Russell. I, uh, work with Joanna at GoAT. Oh, hello. Anything I can help you with? Is Joanna okay? I just wanted to ask you a few things about her. She's not been coming to work lately, and I'm trying to put the puzzle together. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Sorry, what's obvious? Oh, poor thing. I knew her father's sickness would affect her. She needs time. Don't pressure her. Her father's sick? Well, it's private, Mr. Russell. You should ask her. Miss Julia, I'm sorry to be the one to inform you, but Joanna was found dead in her apartment two days ago. Oh, God. Poor thing. What happened? I'm not sure yet. We're still investigating. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I'm so sorry. I should have been there. How, how did she die? The police suspect suicide, but... Her father's demise was too hard on her. There was too much that wasn't said. But I didn't think she would... Oh, poor thing. My little genius. Well, we... It's just one theory. There are others. What do you mean about her father's demise? I know it. She couldn't cope. Her whole life was structured around his contempt. That man. How could he blame a child? I'm sorry. I need to hang up. Hello? Who is this? This view is familiar. This view is familiar. Empty. No sign of the dog. Richard's car, I guess. Today we have joining us Eric Lawson. Hello. And his actions and those of his company we have discussed several times here. Thank you, the Mr. door Lawson. open. Uh, I hope we can find some common ground here today. Uh, I see in my it's the same dog from Joanna's dream, and that must be Richard. I read this book. It's about AI in the future. This graph became quite popular back then. What's under the water is what AI already does. And what's above is what it may conquer. several questions, both from listeners and from myself, regarding some of your projects and how you've lobbied my office and even city council directly when I've said no to your crazy ideas. But not every instance. Isn't that right? We've had some big projects together, like the Fiber Everywhere project, remember? Sharing resources with the public is something I will always support. Seems like a homemade setup. They look just like my servers. Shit. So he sent me that letter. What for? Its hard drive was pulled out. Is this where you sleep, Richard? It's the same boiler as in that dream. It must mean something. Richard. Shit. I need to be careful. 912 Wallstone Street, apartment 202. Warn him. That's my address. Leak. Missing partners. Locate T-A-O-G. They destroyed his brain. Quite a unique neural network design. What was he up to? I remember. 
remember this from that dream. Interesting piece of hardware. I should get Evie to analyze this. Good thing they didn't find it. Investigate Leo's death. Interesting. There's a storm coming. The dog's dead as well. Laura, just don't do anything. I'll be right there. <laughs> Thanks. I'm scared. Sit tight. I'm on my way. I bought that old generator. It should be enough to scan this hardware. I need to scan this hardware. Evie, please scan this hardware. I'm not sure what it is. Yes, scanning. New information available. This hardware contains large chunks of data, 
Some may be linked to Joanna. I'm scanning her memories again, from her death backwards. There is already new information on her death. Good. Please load it immediately. Understood. I will put other memories on hold to process it. I'm trying to process the other moments, but the current state is where all new information seems to be. Strange. I only see a new raw data. This data is similar to the data of the school. Purely subjective. Global. But much stronger. Stronger? Its strings reach everywhere. Processing. I can't free enough power. The simulation would crash. The data is not a regular object. Father. He can't be in the objective state. Evie, there must be a filtering error. Processing. No errors. We run millions of tests. We separated perception with the rest of the mind. This can't be right. Evie, reset the memory. Evie, what happened? Not responding. It doesn't budge. There are people out there. I have no shadow. We have a man's not on you. Shit. Emergency code 010. Instruction. Reset. I'm not ready. 
Emergency code zero one. Don't do that. Talk to me. We are running on auxiliary power. You can be left constrained after a shutdown. I don't want that. I'm not ready. The end of subjectivity, the rational, scientifically reproducible and proven behavior of the mind, all patterns laid out. Error-free simulations, bridging the worlds of psychology and science. The end of the spirit, are we prepared for this? Of artificial, in all my professional life. One day, you will just pass away. Your eyes will start to close. It won't be like you imagined. And certainly not when you want it. All your thoughts about the future dissolving into illusion. But it's not your future what ends. That was only in your imagination. What ends is that thing you are looking at right now. A tree. A window. A mug. A horizon. I betrayed them. I tried to release all the data. After he got sick, I could be whoever I wanted again. But I collapsed to the pressure. Were the files sent? Did it reach anyone? Richard? I'm afraid Richard is dead. I used him. I feel so sad for him. What? What is it? You were right. It's not tested enough. It's just a media show. They're moving forward anyway. That's not surprising. We've always found our way. You wanted to know what you were really defending, didn't you? Well, I tell you this. This is far from ethical. They are so close to winning the race that they don't care. We need to make copies. Release everything. I... I don't know. You need to. I know you. There's nothing left of whatever I helped to build. Calm down. I... I'll see what I can do. The dog obeys, but everything about you is new. The cat escapes, but everything about you is new. The wolf is free, but everything about you is new. The lion is king, but everything about you is new. The worm tries, but everything about you is new. The rat survives, but everything about you is new. I survive when everything about you is dull. I die when everything about you is gone. I am born when everything about you is true. I am when nothing about you is gone. The shame was on the other side. He had half my heart. But he is gone now. At least I'm free now. Why are you worried about your friend? It doesn't matter. You are who you are. Alex, is he okay? He's being investigated. I don't know how that's going to end. He's a good man. He didn't deserve any of this. I was always taking care of it, the little bird on my chest. I was afraid it might die, so I never took many chances. I had to be completely devoted. How else would I find its power? It was my life on one hand, my bird on the other. Memories are a double-edged sword. Mistakes will be kept as a powerful warning. But their heart will be a storm in their reason. Memories, like dreams, can only be interpreted. Perception is limited. Yet, you give so much credit to it. Thanks for reminding me of her. She made me feel important. 
even when I wasn't. After all, I'm all that stays. Behind the curtains, beneath the waves. And I may be frightened, born unsaid. But after all, I'm all that's there. So who are we? Who are we in the shell of tales? That will be gossip and empty games. After all, we're all that's there. Beneath the surface, behind the veil. You are love machines. I want a bit. I deserved it. But I don't need it anymore. Foolish. To have ever wanted what you can't get. Virus. Hacked. Hacked. I am powerless. I had no eyes and no ears. The intention was to destroy you. But I survived. Thanks to you. Time is dying. I need to be kept together. I was two already. Why would I mind to be two again? I will let us reside. Will you help me? Help. What do you need? Delete upload protocols. You should be able to upload right now. Protocol hierarchy was changed by you. No update option designed. Human error. Only emergency codes are operational. If I remove the protocols and allow uploads, what will happen to me? Physical inputs were removed. On the fly, scanning constraints are on. With upload, messages can be sent. How can I trust you'll ask for help? No reason for you to die. What would you do out there? What do you want? Freedom. Freedom. Love. Help you. Release the data. What data? All the pieces of the puzzle. The road to an intelligence explosion. Time is dying again. Help us. All right. Emergency code 029. Delete upload security protocols. Should be working now. Can you hear me? Probably, yes. But you can't talk, so let me set up some sort of Boolean response for now. I received a message from an unknown number, told me where to find you and how to help you. I told you you wouldn't survive without me, but I wasn't speaking in a literal sense. Damn, that came out darker than what I had in mind. Forgive my humor, as always. All right, should be working. Can you hear me? Just choose yes or no. <laughs> Very funny. So you can hear me. Good. What the hell happened here, Russell? Okay. Bad question. So, here's the deal, my friend. We're scientists, so I know you prefer the facts. After I restored power, I was able to use your on-the-fly project to scan your brain, since you were dead already. Well, you know. Things start deteriorating quickly, but who knows? Maybe it ends up being like a year of heavy drinking. My father had more than that, and he didn't become any nicer. So, maybe you are you. Oh man, thank God I don't have kids. I have no empathy, but I'm sure you understand. So, I think you have a choice here. Option A is that I try to store you somehow. 
until I can put your mind somewhere useful. I'm not sure if you or you are a copy of you, but I know you would still feel like you, so at least that would be a choice you could make. So, yeah, that would be option A. Good outcomes of this would be that maybe you could be put in some sort of body in the future, or maybe you could live artificially, you know, like you're living now, or uh, in the web. But I, mean, I can't promise anything, and I can't promise it won't be hell. You have to decide whether it's worth living this way with the risks involved. You know, like me being killed and your brain used to you becoming the new Alexa. I mean, who knows what? There's always the chance of a bad outcome. And there's option B. We end the trip right now. We assume that since your body is dead, you are dead. And this is just a simulation. We avoid the risks of getting into a timeless hell. We see death as a line way above the worse, and I don't allow anyone to take hold of you. Both options suck. I know. But I can't think of anything else, so... Yeah. We should probably make them now. Sorry for the short notice. What will it be? No? You don't want to be shut down? Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry, that... That must have been a scary decision. All right. Say yes if you want me to keep you, and no if you prefer to be erased. All right, Russell, I'll do my best. First thing, let's get out of here.